Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to be learning how to clone Magento with Installatron. That's right. Now, before we jump off and show you how to do this, there are a couple of reasons why you would want to clone your Magento website. Number one, you might want to be test a new extension with your Magento system. Number two, you might want to change some theme settings and see how they come out. And the easiest and the safest way of doing that is by taking a clone of your Magento system. And you can do this so easily with Installatron. And that's what we're going to be showing you how to do during this tutorial. So with that said, Dave, let's go and do this. And of course, follow us along in your system. So Dave, we've been a jumped across to cPanel and where it says finds, I'm going to type in there install. There we go. And down here, we can see that we've got Installatron, Applications Installer. And Installatron makes life so much easier for us, doesn't it, Dave? Oh yeah, definitely. I love Installatron. As a non-nerd, Installatron is like my go-to thing. And what we're going to do for this one, we've got a Magento install here. Well, in fact, we've got the Magento Basics ones, the, the install which we were using for the Magento Basics courses like we're doing right now with you. And let's say that we want to make a clone of that system. And it's very, very simple to do. If you click on this icon here, and I'm just going to pause and highlight this on the screen for you. It's the one with the double arrow on it. Click onto that option. And then you'll see that we've got some additional options in here. Now, this is where it is going to vary based upon your install settings. So don't panic if your details are different to ours. You're going to want to choose the domain name. So in our case, we want guides.understandany. And the most important setting is the directory. OK, because we assume that you're going to be making a clone of this. This is where you would want to type in clone or maybe give the clone a number, maybe clone one or clone two, for example. And that's the most important option which you need in here, because then Installatron will make a clone of your Magento website. And that's the folder where you're going to find it. And again, Dave, can you see it's given us a hint on the URL here as well? So once we finish cloning it, if we went to guides.understandthenee.com forward slash clone hyphen two, that's where we would find the clone system. Okay, and of course, that would be your domain name.com forward slash whatever you've been and typed in for the directory. Now, the rest of the settings for complete ease, we would just suggest leave them in as the default and then crucially click on the clone button at the bottom. So that's processing right now. Now, this will take, depends how big your Magento site is, it could take minutes. It could take up to an hour. Now, Dave, you can see the progress on our screen. Yep. It's copying the database and tables. We're on 8% right now, 9, 10. Again, the length of time which it takes will depend on how big your Magento website is. The key here is just to be patient. And if you come back to this, so you give it 15 minutes or so, and you'll be able to see the progress. And again, you get the current status on your screen. Let that finish. And once it's been finished, you'll then get a new front end URL. So in our case, it will be clone hyphen two. And also we'll gain a new admin URL as well, where we can then go and log in. So that will be clone hyphen two forward slash and then admin in that system. And Dave, that's it to clone a Magento system. And again, if you then log in with the same username and password, which you're using for your main site, it's exactly the same. Yeah, it's just a carbon copy, isn't it? And it's great for whatever you might be wanting to use the clone website for. It's great for testing, testing different extensions. Playing with your theme. Yeah. Developer access to give a developer to them to go and check something for you. Oh, the list is absolutely endless. And it's so easy to do with Installatron. And the best thing, Matt, is you're not going to break anything on the actual site which your customers are using. Yeah, exactly. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios.